Alrighty, it is time to check in with Mr. Al Bear. He's in Mamu this morning having a great time giving us a preview of the Cajun Music Fest. We're going to send it to him. Al, I did see your text about the greased pole competition. So for folks just joining us, maybe you could elaborate a little bit on, on what that means and when that will be. I will do that, and I, I fully expect you and Jace to participate. This is, they grease this pole. Okay? okay, it's a law. It's like a telephone pole. They grease it. One guy gets on the bottom, another guy on top, and then usually it's a lady just runs up the backs of the men and tries to touch the top of the pole. Now it's hard because it's full of grease, right? Yes, full full of grease. It's not easy, but it takes someone as athletic as Alex Restell to win this. You play tennis, I I guarantee you can get to the top of the pole. And go to the last team, so some of the grease is off the pole. It, sometimes it helps you out a little bit. Wow, good strategy. There you go. Be the last team, Alex. You and Jace can make this happen. Hey, speaking of making it happen, talk about this jambalaya. It's about ready for the rice. The meat's tender. We put all the onions in there. And the sausage, we're about ready for the rice, and we're next little spot, we'll have it all mixed up. So, I don't want to get controversial, but you don't cook the rice in the in the jambalaya? No, we don't cook it in there, because sometimes you miss it. Yeah. So, this way, and we got to feed a lot of people, so we can't be late with it. So, there we you just go. Go, we cook it on the side. Okay, there you go. Cook the rice separately. You're not going to miss it. Hey, we're going to come over here to the boudin and the fried fish. TJ, tell us what we got going on here, my yes, friend. Sir, Miss Phyllis Swallow uh, and her famous uh, fried fish. We uh, we get the uh, fish from Gidry's uh, Catfish. Uh-huh. Uh, we marinated the, the day before, so yesterday afternoon, uh, Miss Phyllis uh, had it cut up, uh, seasoned it a little bit with a little bit of mustard, put it marinating overnight, and now you can see she's putting that in the, uh, in the fryer. And uh, we'll have some of that to sample in a little bit. Now, TJ. Yes, sir. I don't want you to give away a secret, but is is the marinated secret? What, uh, can you kind of give us an idea of what you marinated in? Oh, oh go ahead. Okay, Phyllis, yeah. just look. What, what is it, Phyllis? Mustard, uh, T-boy seasoning, mm -hmm. and we have another little secret seasoning. Okay. I don't want you to give away the secret. No, I can't. It's okay. just like the tortoise sauce. I can't give the secret either. You make tartar sauce? Yeah. Oh, my God, I love tartar sauce. No, you have the best today. Sometimes I eat fish just for an excuse to eat tartar sauce. Well, okay. you have plenty today. Okay, I love that. And we got T-Boy's boudin over here, right? Right. Yeah. <clears throat> we just took the boudin out and cut it up about three minutes ago. So the boudin that we put in a little earlier, uh, since then we've taken it out, and now it's fresh and uh, ready to eat. Now, this boudin has got a little kick to it. Yep. You know, I noticed that a little kick. Okay, because it's Mamu. That's right. I think this might be the most kick I've ever had in, in boudin. Really? Yeah, I think so. You know, because, again, it's T-Boy's boudin. It's Mamu. You know. We like to spice things up, Al. Okay, hey, look, there's a picture coming up of the guy on the pole. I tell you what, Alex Ristel, you can take this championship. Or maybe the beer drinking. Either one. Okay, so for those at home wondering, what is a grease pole competition? We do have a visual for you right here. It kind of gives you an idea of what exactly that competition looks like. So, um, if this is you, well, you can sign up. Head to Mamu this weekend. Looks like a good time. I'd be terrible at that. Al A. Bear? It's like a... It's like a it's like a tennis tournament. You do have only a history, with, though, with of beer. hanging upside down from power poles, so this is right up your alley. Oh, my God, I love this. You know it. <laughs>